What's up guys, welcome back. Or I guess I should welcome myself back. It's been over four months since my last video and that's because up until a week ago, uh, Saturday, so eight days ago, I hadn't driven my truck in over four months. And there's a long story I'll get into later, but for now, um, we changed the turbo setup and got a new manifold. And truck sounds great, drives great, performs great everything that I've really ever wanted out of it so hopefully the big money modifications have at least come to a halt for quite some time I'm just gonna enjoy driving it obviously I'm never done there's always gonna be little things here or there but the big money stuff uh, you know I'm just gonna enjoy it so we went with a billet 468 turbo uh, from bullseye turbos it's a Borg Warner charger with a race cover on it, not the standard cover, and steep speed uh, manifold, second gen swap, and actually went back with a muffler because it was way too loud with a straight pipe uh, from going from twins back to a single. So, sorry it has been so long. I'm hopefully getting back up with uh, my videos now that I have a truck to drive again. I know we've lost most of the hot slash good weather and it's going to get cold before too long but we'll get some good videos in between now and the cold weather so let's take a look at the new turbo setup so here it is guys The uh, compressor housing was powder coated, but I had an issue with that turbo, sent it in for warranty work, and obviously the one that they sent back didn't go to the powder coater first. I wanted to drive the truck. I'll worry about getting that powder coated this winter. Uh, but for now, like I said, I'm gonna enjoy driving it. But the powder coating that we still have looks really good. Whirly Custom Fab did everything. Like I said, a bullseye charger s468 it's a borg warner based bullseye is just the company that built it here's steed speed manifold i got you know egt hooked up and then where the plug is right there i gotta get the uh, drive pressure gauge eventually but yeah everything turned out really great i got a lot of wiring that i want to clean up i'm gonna re get this repowder coated this winter maybe do something with this and get the rocker housing powder coated I might leave it black I don't know we will see what happens with that but let's see how she sounds I'm gonna do a, a sound clip difference from um, regular third gen manifold to the second gen and then twins versus a single and um, really give comparisons for all of you wondering whether you want to do twins or a single now I can tell you that single takes up a lot less room in the engine bay makes oil changes a lot easier it's less moving parts less to break i mean that's the reason that i got it coming there's six cylinders instead of eight so um yeah without further ado 